Well, I'm so excited to work out with you today, but I wanted everyone to get to know you first. So do you want to spend a couple minutes talking about yourself and how you got into fitness? Absolutely. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Yolanda Velasquez. Um, I work in IT as a business analyst. Um, I really enjoy working out. It's been part of my life now, probably I, I'd want to say for 12 years. I actually didn't work out before. Um, what happened was I, I'll be married 10 years this year. And when I met my husband, uh, while we were planning our wedding, you know, every girl wants to be skinny for their wedding. So of course I'm like, okay, I, you know, I need to work out, like get really skinny for my wedding. So I did probably for six months, I did work out. Um, and I hated every moment of it, hated every, I hated being there. But, you know, for the wedding, I had to do it. I was like, just push through, whatever. Um, and I did. And actually, I found that once I got over the hate bump, which was substantial, six months is a long time to hate something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually kind of, the love turned into, uh, the hate turned into love. And my body actually started asking me for it. Uh, if I didn't go work out, I felt very uneasy, like um, like I needed a release, right? Like my body was like, hey, what are you doing? Like, why have we not worked out today, you know? So that's really how it started. My husband has always had this lifestyle, um, but when we met, you know, that was his thing, not my thing. I didn't care about working out. He did, cool. He never pressured me into doing it or wanted me to. I literally only started doing it because I was getting married and I wanted to lose weight. And then that progressed into what it is today, which is part of my everyday life. And um, and I love it. It keeps me balanced. I'm very tightly wounded. Um, I'm, I've always suffered with anxiety my whole life. Um, and this has really helped balance me. Um, and uh, obviously there's a lot of other positives, you know, you look good naked and everything, and getting, you know, stuff like that, co your confidence and um, being proud of all the work that you put in and looking, seeing the results. Um, but it's also just brought in my mind and um, it's made me very compassionate towards other people and the struggle of weight loss, the, just the struggle period of, how, how, how much pressure as women we put on ourselves to look a certain way. I mean, we're our own worst critic. Like there's days I wake up and I'm like, I look like a busted can of biscuits. Like I feel so gross, you know, but it's all like, you know, it's our inner critic that we have to learn to talk out of, you know, like we have to learn to say, thank you inner critic for letting me know these things that you, you know, you think we think about ourselves, but really you're just coming from a place of fear. If you can't tell, I've been to therapy as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what I love too is that, I think that we can both attest to this, is that being physically, being physically active is really a form of therapy as well. Like you absolutely, it helps to balance you out. It helps to balance me out and like takes away my anger. It just helps me to like pause and like really think yes. before I react. Absolutely. It makes you well, well rounded and very, and a lot more balanced. I also think our mental health goes hand in hand with our physical. Everything is intertwined. So you can't take up care of one thing and not the other. Everything needs attention. Your soul too, but I don't want to get too deep. You know, those are the three, th the three things that I think go hand in hand, your soul, your body and your mind. So I think you have to take care of all three in whatever manner that is to you, whatever that means to you. As long as you're doing something, that's all that matters. Uh, Where are you from? Well, I was actually born in um, Michoacan, Mexico. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Uh, and I was brought to the States, uh, I think it was probably one and a half. So I've been raised here my whole life, but I was born in Mexico and I'm very proud to be Mexican, of my heritage, of my roots. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really lucky that I'm bilingual. Spanish was my first language and I can read, write, speak it, and also English obviously now. So what kind of workout are we doing today? Today we're doing a ladder style. Um, the reason I chose ladder, well, first of all, it's one of my favorite, it's my favorite type of workout. 
The reason behind it is I am pretty extreme when it comes to working out. Like I love a challenge and to me a challenge means no rest and like crazy amounts of reps and crazy amounts of sets, right? Just like, like pushing your body to the limit. Um, and Renata always commented really sweet things on my workout. She would always say, oh my God, you're a beast. Or this is, you know, this is amazing. And I'm like, why don't you try it one day? We should do it one day. I was like, I think you would love it. Yeah. You know, it looks intimidating, but it's really not. Um, a ladder style basically is in, it's a, it's a workout that's done in a, a descending or ascending, um, manner as in, for example, today we have exercises A through G, I believe. I'll have to look at my notes again. And basically, what it, the way we're doing it today is to get to B, you have to do A again. So basically, you do A, then guess what? You do it again. And then you move on to B, and then guess what? You, guess what you do? You come back all the way up to A, then you do B, then you do C, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. By the end of it, the amount of reps and sets that you've done you're, you can't even count because there's so many, but at the end when you do the math, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I did that many reps, I did that many sets. It's crazy, like you will be very uh, surprised and just, you should be very proud of yourself that you could get through that because we can do so many things. It's just the fear that gets in the way. So we're gonna remove that today. We're, we're removing the fear. We're ha we have no fear, we're gonna get through it. Renata's gonna get through it and, um, and she's gonna love it. I think that she will do great. Thank you. I'm really excited. I've actually never tried a ladder workout before, so this is going to be new, completely new for me, but I'm excited to do it with you because I know you're going to help me to get through it. I'll push you. I'm going to push <laughs> you through it. <laughs> um, also, there are benefits to why I do ladder styles. Ladder, uh, ladder styles really help you with your endurance, your muscle endurance. It, it, it helps overall in every volume of your uh, physical uh, physique and capabilities, um, whether that's endurance, whether it's muscle endurance, whether it's speed, whether it's power, it just helps overall. And that's what I love. I love that it's well rounded out, depending on the, the exercises you you choose, right? Because it could be, you could make a ladder work out of, out of all types of exercises. The ones I chose today are a lot of plyo and explosive and power. So, um, it sounds exciting. <laughs> yes. So I'm excited. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Touch jump is all about power, right? So, and uh, Renata, please, I need you to be very careful with your form here. Make sure your back is straight. Always shoulders are back. And make sure that when you're floating up, you are charging these legs up. All the power needs to come from your legs, and you have to push it through the heel, right? So what, basically what we're doing is as we jump, we're tucking our, our legs up as far as we can and trying to land as soft as possible, right? So land with soft knees, you don't want to mess your knees up. So let me demonstrate, okay? So but what I mean by charging up, I mean this, like you're, you're getting ready, right? You're like actually getting lower to charge up. So this is what it looks like. And this is how you should land, right? Soft. We always want to make sure that our knee is not going past our toe, right? Always. So make sure you give your toe. You have really long legs, so you make sure you, you know, spread them out as much as you can. So, this is what a split lunge is. One, two, three, four. And you just continue, right? Landing soft. You still land soft. You very aware of your shoulders and your back. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. do not need to curve. We want to make sure our form is right. You have to make sure your elbow, your uh, shoulders are not going past your hands. Okay? So align your palms with your shoulders. Make sure they're up. Make sure that your back is straight. Do not drop your butt or have it too high up in the air. I don't want this and I don't want this. I want this, okay? Okay. And driving those knees up. Driving them, okay? Okay. But, you know, just for demonstration. Also, when you're in this position, when you're breathing, if you look, if you just put your head up a little, 
it actually helps you intake more air and have, um, you know, basically you won't fatigue as fast because you're intaking the air. If you do this, it's cutting off your air. Like, if you're not getting too much. So that was a tip from a trainer that one of my trainers I've had uh, to look up. Mm. And that just feels amazing, right? For this one, you're going to want to lay back, but our shoulders up off the ground, okay? So don't strain your neck into a bed. Look up, all right? So what we're going to do is bring our legs up, point up to the ceiling, and bring our hands up, touch the toes, bring them down, raise them back up. Bring them down, raise them back up, okay? Okay. And this is about control. That's really what's going to engage all your, your abs and the rest of the muscle group. It's more, it's care more about controlling it, slowing it down, than going fast. That really doesn't, I mean, no, it's just not, you're, not, you're not doing it justice, but you're just like, you're not engaging and actually controlling. And that goes for everything we're doing today. Um, you can use any weight. You can use a kettlebell. If you have a bar, amazing. If you don't, you can, and you don't even have to use weights. It's just because for Renata and I, it adds a, a, a layer of, you know, for, to make it a little more hard. So point your toes out, okay? Not too crazy, don't go out here. Because remember, look, we are having, basically we, we still want 90 degrees when we're bending down and we still need our shoulders back and we still need our back straight. And what you're using right now is your butt muscle. So you engage that booty the whole time. You come down, control, control it with the booty. You push up, you're, you're getting that power from the booty through the, through the soles of the feet, okay? So, this is how, what it should look like. Shoulders back, down, touch, boom. Squeeze when you come up. You can come in a little closer if it's not uh, comfortable going that far out. I can just because I'm flexible. But if you're not, come in, come in, it's fine. As long as your knees are not going past your toes, you're good. All right, so once again, I'm gonna try and go slower. You see how my back is straight, the shoulders are back. Push through the booty and I'm squeezing those butt cheeks. For this one, instead of doing the jump, what we're gonna do is a star a jumping jack, which is pretty. So, butt are. So, what it would look like. Down, up, jumping jack. Oh. Down, jumping jack, okay? Okay. So you're still powering up with your legs, always, okay? Okay. Is that pretty? Yeah, it is really pretty. With high knees, basically, just like any other exercise form, it's very, very, very important, especially because with high knees, you're constantly flexing your foot and coming up, coming up, coming up. Super easy to lose your balance and fall over. Yeah. We don't want to do any of that. So, high knees. Um, again, you should be completely straight. Shoulders should still be back. And you want to engage your arms this, this time because it helps you actually power up your legs. A lot of people don't know that. But um, try it out and you'll see. Try doing it this way, the correct way, and without, you'll see the difference. So for me, high knees, like a lot of people, a lot of people will do this. They go back, right? They fall back. No, we wanna, we wanna, if anything, we wanna go forward, right? Like, there's a reason why we did this one last, too far. There's three, it's three compound movements. And it will be after we fatigue all of our muscle groups. Okay? Okay. You have, you have your weights, right? Yes. Right next to me. Okay. I don't care what weights you use, that's up to you. Um, I use 20 to 15 for this, but it's completely up to you, whatever you feel comfortable. So this is deadlift. All right. Shoulders back. We have a slight bend in the knee, slight. And we're coming down as low as we can, but with our back straight. Head facing forward and um, shoulders back always. Okay? So as you come up, you sit, you do the bicep curl, 
Immediately, you come up, press to a shoulder press. You come all the way back down again. So deadlift, bicep curl, shoulder press. Again, make sure that your arms, when you're coming up, are always. You don't want to uh, mess your elbow up. You don't want to have some crappy form. Control it with your arms.
It's really effective. It's really tiring, but in like a, um, a really good way. And you know, we burned 350 calories. It's a shit ton of calories. It's like a wow. short time. Seriously? My heart rate didn't go uh, under 150. It's staying above. So that's amazing. That is incredible. Yeah, I'm very proud of you. You don't even know. Though. You look fine. <laughs> you didn't see the sweat that was dripping off my chin before. <laughs> what do you think? What was your thoughts? I loved it. I thought it was so fun, <laughs> but really challenging too. showering after this. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, really. This was amazing. Absolutely. Anytime. Okay. <laughs>